Ladies and gentlemen, every once in a while, every once in a while, MSNBC comes out with a pretty good article that tells the truth in a roundabout way. The main problem actually here, this is the article, if, if you, on the search engine, it says Trump's January charges likely won't stick. This is different from everything you, that a lot of people have heard on MSNBC and CNN, the Washington Post, the New York Times, um, Vanity Fair, Esquire, the New Yorker, the Atlantic. This is different from what people on to the left of the political spectrum here every single day. Trump's going to get impeached. He's going to get indicted. Or no, he was already impeached twice. He's going to get indicted. He's going to go to prison. Oh, my God. Then you click on the article, the main problem with these January committee charges against Trump, because the January committee's report is the work of politicians, it is by definition a political document. Finally, some of the truth, perhaps not all of the truth, but some of the truth here. The interesting thing is the acknowledgement that this is a political document completely undermines the viewpoint that he's this epicenter or this embodiment of criminality. Trump did not commit a crime. Check out the segment at 8 a.m. today that I had prior to this one. Every morning at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., set your dials to H.A. Goodman on YouTube. I would love to just share the morning with you with these two segments forever on this channel at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. It took me years and years to finally get some kind of schedule on this channel. So be here at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every morning. And I'd be honored to share the morning with you. But here you have, if the Justice Department declines to pursue this or any other charge, those constituencies can now blame the excessive prudence of prosecutors for failing to pick up where the committee left off. No, the issue is that there was no criminal act by Trump. There was no criminal act by Trump. And you have one congressman on the Democratic Party side saying that, oh, he's going to be in prison forever. The, commit, the, the, the committee report, the January committee report, did not list any emails, any money transfer, money flows to people who committed crimes, any direct communication between Trump and anyone who committed a crime. I mean, you would think that if Trump committed a crime, he would have communicated with people now in prison. That never happened. Because... Believe it or not, God forbid, people have free will. Not everything bad that happens in the known universe is the cause of Trump's words or rhetoric. And it's, it, this is such a vapid, absurd leap of logic always. Well, a terrible thing happened because that day was a terrible day. But it wasn't Trump's... It, Trump did not compel or tell anyone to commit any criminal act. Should he have had that day? No. Should CNN have stated that it's fiery but mostly peaceful when there's a building set ablaze behind the journalist? No. There was an entire summer, and I agree with why people demonstrated. I agree with the cause of why people demonstrated that summer. But there was an entire summer of $1 to $2 billion in property damage, according to Wikipedia, 19 lives lost and 14,000 arrests. And then conservatives that day, or Trump supporters that day, said, hey, you know what? You had the whole summer. Oh, okay, well, we're going to act in the same manner. Can't act in the same manner. You're not going to have Democrats uh, bailing out conservatives. Ain't going to work like that. Not happening. Again, different reasons for the chaos and mayhem. But chaos, mayhem, criminal activity is never justified, even if you want to state well, one cause is noble, one cause is self-serving and political. One to two billion dollars in property damage is not noble, sorry. Even though the peaceful demonstrations were noble, yes, indeed, the peaceful demonstrations were noble that summer. But the chaos and mayhem and the curfews and all of that 
took place and not a word from Democrats or Liz Cheney or Adam Kinzinger. Gee, I wonder why. Here you have a very interesting... Here you have... So why did the January committee include... Okay, so... Because the, this committee's uh, report is the work of politicians, is by definition a, po- a political document. While the committee conducted committee conducted itself admirably, no, no, it didn't. That's a judgment call, subjective, and made almost every effort to avoid the appearance of partisanship. What? What? It made every effort to be partisan. Where was Jim Jordan? Matt Gates? Was Marjorie Taylor Greene on that panel? Was was Eric Trump, Donald Trump Jr.? Was, um, let's see, uh, James Comer, Jim Jordan, uh, who, who else? I'm thinking, there were no Trump Republicans on that panel. By the way, hit subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. I'm very honored that um, during the live streams, there are people who... Um, Refer this channel to friends and family during the live stream. So we'll have a live stream this evening. Uh, But every day, like I say, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., expect your mornings. If you you enjoy this channel, my voice, my work, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., be here. Set your dial to those times every morning forever. You will always get a segment on H.A. Goodman at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m., And what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. If you want to become a Patreon, please do so. And if you want to um, Patreon, please do so. If you want to become a member, please do so. And if you want to become a, uh, if you want to uh, be part of a newsletter, go to hagoodman.com. And that would be fantastic. Just type in your email address. Ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) of course the Justice Department can follow through with the committee's recommendation in whole. Prosecutors might secure a conviction, and that conviction might be upheld through an appeals process. But the barriers before prosecution are almost insurmountably high for a good reason, and successful prosecution of Trump on these grounds would likely overturn, overturn rules of engagement established in Brandenburg. So, you have a situation where Trump at all times, Trump at all times, ladies and gentlemen, is protected by precedent and also hasn't committed an actual crime, okay? I want everyone here who is watching, if you stumble upon this channel and you are a morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat, who's a wonderful person. Say this very slowly and repeat after me. Donald Trump did not commit a crime, but Hunter and Hillary and Joe almost certainly did. You can say that, click your heels like, you know, the Wizard of Oz and say that a million times because it's the truth. And Trump didn't commit a crime. He did not commit a crime. And if you think that he committed a crime, ask yourself, the entire American political establishment is after Trump. The entire American political establishment is after Trump. And yet, they can't get him on a specific criminal act. Why is that? Even Republicans in Georgia and Arizona and elsewhere are against Trump. Mitt Romney, why can't they get Trump? Because he did not commit an actual crime. He's mean, he's boisterous, he's belligerent, he, but he's also, he also did great things as president. He also did great things as president. I judge people by their actions. I don't judge people by their words. And Trump is not a politician. He's not a politician. He's not, like, he doesn't care what anyone thinks of him. To, to his detriment in many ways. But that's what I love about him. And you cannot, if you're the Democratic Party, you cannot, you know, 
transform your emotions towards Trump into criminal charges. It doesn't work that way. He has to have committed a crime. He didn't. He didn't have private servers. He didn't sell out the country like Hunter and Joe almost certainly did. He didn't do any of those things. He pressured and he was mean and his taxes might have led to this or that. But that the New York probe has ended, the Georgia probe, check out the channel, the segment prior to this one, 8 a.m. ended. And so you have a situation, ladies and gentlemen, where He, he's not going to get indicted. He could get it. He could possibly, they could be malicious and, and indict him on the classified data, but that he would win that, <laughs> but he'd win that after 24. <laughs> so anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Every, every single day on this channel, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Set your dials. Thank you.